Okay, welcome everyone. So in this video, we are gonna start to build our definition of determinant, which so far we've done for two by two matrices up until higher dimensions. So let's go to the next stage, which would be a three by three matrix. So in order to talk about how we calculate determinants for three by three matrices, I want to introduce a new term um, which is finding a sub matrix for the say one one entry. So here's the one one entry of matrix A. And if I cross off the column that it sits in, the first column, and its row that it sits in, then what's left over is gonna be a two by two sub matrix over here, consisting of those four elements, um, A22, A32, A23, and A33. And so we denote this matrix that we just obtained A11. We, it's the submatrix that we get when we delete the entries in the first row and the first column. So here, these um, subscripts on this capital A are denoting that we eliminated values in birth, both the first column and in the first row. And what's left over is this two by two matrix. Okay, and similarly along these lines, if I wanted to consider, well, what would submatrix A12 look like? Well, that is gonna be the matrix that we get when we eliminate the entries in the first row and the second column. And that matrix we're gonna denote with a capital A and a subscript of one, two, and we can see that the four remaining entries are gonna create a new two by two submatrix. And we can do this for any general AIJ entry in matrix A. So for example, if I want to come up with say, what is matrix, submatrix A32, I come to element A32 in the matrix of A, I cross off all of the entries in the same row as A32, so that would be the third row, all of the entries in the same column of A32, so that would be the second column, and then the remaining entries that are left over are gonna set up what is our sub matrix that we call A32. In this case, um, that would be these four entries. It would have a first column of A11, A21, and then a second column of A13, A23. Okay, so let's consider the following example. We've got a three by three matrix A, uh, and the first column of this matrix is three, one, two. The second column is minus one, two, zero, and then the third column is two, zero, one. And we would like to compute the determinant of this matrix. And so one way that we can define the determinant of this three by three matrix A uh, would be using submatrices. So I'm gonna take a look along my first row. And the first entry I have over here is three. So this is my A lowercase a11 entry. And associated with this is submatrix capital A11. Um, and so that is what is going in this position over here. So here our A11 would be the three, and then the determinant of A11, we would wanna calculate the determinant of the matrix two, zero, zero, one. Then we move across the first row to the next entry, the A12 entry, which in this case happens to be minus one, and then we're gonna eliminate the values, the entries in the same row in the same column as A12 and get submatrix A12, which is gonna consist of these four entries that I'm circling in blue. And notice what I'm going to do is subtract the value of lowercase A12, so the A12 entry in matrix A times the determinant of the submatrix we get after eliminating the entries in the same row and same column as that. So here we have a negative sign for this second piece. And then we're gonna add the A13 term. So we're gonna continue going across that first row of this matrix. And now we're over here at A13 and we cross off those entries and we're gonna multiply lowercase A13, which in this case is entry number two, times the determinant of the submatrix A13. So continuing with this calculation, again, lowercase A11, the first entry in the first row, first column is three. 
then we're going to take 3 and multiply it by the determinant of the submatrix we get from uh, A11. And that's this 2x2 two two matrix, first column 2, 0, second column 0, 1. Then we subtract A12, which is this entry minus 1, and we're going to multiply that minus 1 times the determinant of the submatrix that we got when we eliminated entries in that row and that column which is a two by two matrix, first column one, two, second column zero, one. And then we go back to adding uh, entry A13, which is two times the determinant of sub matrix A13, which is the matrix that has first column one, two, second column two, zero. And then we use our definition for what we know about the determinants of two by two matrices to continue uh, this calculation. So I have three times the determinant of this matrix is two. I would get two times one minus zero minus, now I have entry A12 was minus one, so that's why that is in this position. And then the determinant of this matrix would be one times one minus zero. So that's where this one comes from. Then we go back to adding now entry A13, which is two, times the determinant of this matrix, which is zero minus four. So that's where the minus four comes in. And then we uh, combine our values and this gives us a determinant of minus one. And if you're wondering, well, why are we defining the determinant of three by three matrices in this way? Um, similar to what we saw with the two by two matrix case, um, when we define the determinant in this manner, what we'll see is that this matrix A is going to be invertible as long as this quantity, the determinant of A, is non-zero. Um, so in this case, we the determinant of matrix A happens to be minus one, and so we'll see that we will be able to find the inverse of this matrix A.